A pair of downtown building projects can move forward thanks to bridge loans approved by the Youngstown City Council tonight. First News reporter Dan Martin explains why the council's yes vote was such an important step. The city of Youngstown will loan a total of about $3 million to two developers, 700000 or so to Strollo Architects, who plan to turn the Wells building into its new office and headquarters on the first floor with apartments on top, and a little more than $2 million to NYO Property Group, looking to turn the Wick building into a 52-unit rental and extended stay facility. What they're going to do is to allow for... Uh, the city to accept the state historic tax credit as collateral for these projects to go forward. We'll be lending the money out for a uh, period of about uh, 18 months at an interest rate of about 3 percent. Together, the projects total about $20 million of investment on West Federal Street. Developers have already been awarded historic tax credits from the state and federal governments to renovate these buildings built in 1910 and 1917 by the end of this year. We want to do what we can to bring those monies in. We want this $20 million spent in Youngstown, not in Columbus or Cincinnati. you got to take a chance on individuals who believe in the city. And to me, both of these companies believe in the city. And we have to believe in them. I spoke with Dominic Marchionda of NYO Property Group, who owns the WIC building. He tells me the project would take much longer and might not happen without this loan. Council President Chuck Samarone says the Wells building is in the same boat. If this wasn't approved tonight, that building would probably have to be torn down. City leaders feel the loans are low risk and will be paid back when the renovation projects are done. In Youngstown, Dan Martin, WKBN 27 First News.